a long dormant volcano has begun erupting after thousands and thousands and thousands of years. The Chaton, or the Chaton volcano spewed lava and blasted ash more than 12 miles into the sky on Tuesday, prompting a total evacuation of the provincial capital and many other settlements around the volcano. The volcano began exploding, so a total evacuation of the town of Chaton, or Chaton. Rains following, following the eruption have carpeted surrounding areas in ash and mud. More than 4,000 people have fled and the volcano's five-day eruption has sent a thick column of ash into the stratosphere streaming across Patagonia to the Atlantic Ocean. Six inches of ash in some places. The ash is more than six inches thick in some places contaminating water supplies and coating houses and buildings, vehicles and trees and contaminating water supplies. And authorities are moving thousands and thousands of head of cattle from the area. Local television has reported of loud groaning sounds coming from the 3,280 foot volcano which had been dormant for thousands and thousands of years. The situation has changed very suddenly. Today the volcano is erupting with pyroplastic material on a very different scale. Scientists say they do not expect a catastrophic collapse of the volcano, but that a very cloud of dense, very hot material could coat the surrounding area. This produces a more complicated scenario a dense cloud of pyroplastic material could move down its slopes and that potentially can cause a lot more damage than just a spray of lava. Scientists say the entire volcano will not collapse but the eruptive column could and that is sufficient material to be displaced down its sides into areas nearby. The volcano is erupting hot fragments, ash, and gas. At the same time, a new vent has formed on the Hawaiian, in the Hawaiian Islands. Entirely new vent, kind of like a new volcano. And, it, and it's sending what's called bog, a combination of ash and water mixed together in the Hawaiian Islands over some cities there. An entirely new vent has opened opened up on the Hawaiian Islands. Another eruption. These are volcanoes or vents that have not been active in thousands and thousands of years. Why all of a sudden are they erupting? This means something. Add this to the earthquakes that are happening every day in Reno, Nevada as many as 20 a day, small tremblers. Add that to the volcanoes. Add that to the earthquakes, the over 600 earthquakes that happened a few weeks ago, off about 150 miles off the Oregon coast. Add that also to the Midwest earthquakes. Add that to the earthquakes that happened a couple months ago, late February, in England of the UK, places where they don't normally have well, they don't normally have earthquakes. No, this all means something. This has something to do with the pole shift. The pole shift has begun. It's about the North Pole shifting to the South Pole and the South Pole shifting to the North Pole. Nobody knows exactly what it involves because the last one supposedly happened about 500,000 years ago. But this has something to do with the pole shift. 
because the inner core of the insides of the earth are made of iron or magnetic rocks which are connected to the north and south pole somehow and it has different viscosities inside the earth an inner core and an outer core it's like melt, uh, molten magma or something melted rocks anyway it's all shifting around inside kind of like shaking up a soda can or something it's uh, beginning to shift and it should shift in different it'll shift in different ways because it's not like I say all the same viscosity but since the inner core supposedly has a solid crystal it's like a solid crystal of iron which is magnetic in other words the insides of the earth are magnetic and they have to shift along with the north and south pole somehow which will cause more earthquakes and more volcanoes and this is all tied to the atmosphere also somehow it's about the earth's magnetic field and the coming pole shift in 2012 and these are all more signs end times last days whatever you want to call them yes these are more signs in other words everything is connected everything happens for a reason like the hurricane or the cyclone that hit Burma or Myanmar. Very severe weather. Yes, everything is connected. And these are more signs.